viruses are very important in the ecosystems of our planet. And thus, viral ecology is a growing area of study. Bacteria represent the largest biomass of living organisms on the planet. And thus, bacteria sequester a large number of nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, which otherwise cycles through the various trophic levels of ecosystems. Viruses kill such a significant number of bacterial cells, often 40% of bacteria, sometimes as high as 70% of bacteria, die because of viral infection. And thus, this liberates all of their biomolecules, allowing nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, etc., to continue to cycle through the environment. In addition, Viruses sometimes accidentally transfer genes between hosts. So the process of transduction occurs when viruses accidentally package host genes into virions and transport them to the next infected cell. So thus, organisms can acquire new traits because of viral infection, and this can have evolutionary significance. While no organism is known to primarily prey on viruses as a food source, viruses are ingested. Some viruses are as large as small bacteria and can be ingested by protists through phagocytosis. Filter feeders undoubtedly trap many viral particles which are then digested using the enzymes which these filter feeders secrete. Now, while viruses are small, viral particles may outnumber bacterial cells in environments by factors of 10 to 100 or more. And so they may serve some role in nutrition of filter feeders, and in environments where certain nutrients are scarce, this may have some significance. 